Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to take y'all on a tour of our most recent shop update. Don't actually know what, what day is it. It is December 14th so um, whenever this video goes live our shop update is also going live. Also, um, I wanted to let you guys know we are going to start doing a giveaway in all of our Monday shop tour videos. So if you guys leave a comment on this video that puts your name in the hat for next week, um, we'll go to a random comment picker and we'll pick a winner from the comments and um, we'll announce that in next week's video. But what we're giving away is a set of these six um, F flakes. I'm trying to be decent what with YouTube and whatnot. But these are a super fun design of like Christmas ornament or you could hang them in your car uh, just very wintry very nice um, you can see them more on our website I, I realize this probably isn't the best angle for them but uh, but yeah so um, the way that this will work is whenever we pick the winner or you know we go to randomcommentpicker.com and put in the link for the video and it picks a winner we will reply to you in the comment and then if you could uh send us an email to back to earth creations at yahoo.com with your shipping information where you would like for us to ship these to then uh so that'll be how that giveaway works also, if y'all are watching this in the premiere, hey, everybody. <laughs> so um, the Cabochons that we're listing to the shop new this week are all COE 96 fused glass. And I'm going to try to, yeah, that's a good angle. So here we have a very pretty dichro that we were experimenting with. This one is actually one from our batch of... Uh, of this weekend's upcoming tutorial but with a little bit of iridescent incorporated into it as well so very wonderfully translucent but also some nice little pops of almost fairy ween color in there i'm going to see if i can't zoom in just a bit for you guys there we go now also the nice thing about glass is it is color fast you don't have to worry about it fading or yellowing over time I love these guys, y'all. Just super pretty little little shimmers and stuff. I don't know how well the camera is going to be picking up on everything. Ooh, and these Aventurine ones. Check out that shimmer, y'all. Now, uh, the way that I'm presenting these to you, um, this is our V series so we do a different letter every week um, so these will be listed on our website uh, you know dichro glass cab 1V or V1 dichro or shimmer glass cab V2 um, so the order that I'm presenting them to you is the order that you'll find them on our website if you don't see something on the website um, it's because it's sold and we take the sold listings down oh that's so pretty I love this one absolutely love and this is actually um our friend s droma sent us a canister of frit and this is that purple frit with some dichro in it and i absolutely love how it came out and that's it with the light through it and we do also still have a whole bunch of jewelry up for sale on our website um, starting at just five dollars actually um, so you could still maybe snag a couple of last-minute late Christmas gifts for you know or treat yourself it doesn't gotta be for somebody else <laughs> um, so like earrings and fingerings and all sorts of stuff <clears throat> and we also did probably our last F flake update of the season um, so once they're gone I think they're gonna be gone did I already show that yeah, I showed that one and this one's so pretty. It has like a little, little bit of iridescence in it. And just that little bit of color variegation. It's, I don't know. I like it a lot. Let me get this one here. Which the effect that you get from the light hitting it 
is sometimes very different from the effect that you get of the light going through it. Because like a lot of the iridescent and dichro and shimmer just, you know, doesn't really... Oh, that one. You know, here I am being like, oh, it's not really that pretty, but oh, that's really pretty. Um, but it really comes to life when the light hits it, I feel like. Absolutely love these ones, though. And we also have a tutorial upcoming. Uh, if Whether you're a glass worker or whether you just like to see how these things are made on how to make a bunch of these cabochons, which also I'd be interested to see how a lot of these same techniques translate through into, <clears throat> excuse me, into like resin crafting and things like that. So again, there's the light going through this one. And the reason why we do this uh, tour videos, um, well, for one, I think there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't translate as well in a picture as what it does in a video, like especially whenever it's the shimmer and shine of some of these pieces. But also, um, you know, we get to do the giveaway and it's another reason to get to hang out in the premieres. Um, but I, I think doing the shop updates, like to all y'all other folks out there who, um, have you know, your own businesses or sell your wares or you know just the marketing aspect can sometimes be the most challenging and so I make these videos primarily so that we can link them on our website whenever we do the shop updates that way y'all can see what you're shopping for um, as opposed to relying just on the pictures and even whenever we were still gosh I love that one even when we were still selling on Etsy, every time I made a video of one of my pieces and then linked it in the video description, um, we had we were much more capable of answering the questions of people who were shopping. So while this isn't exactly a tutorial, um, this is something that has worked out pretty well for Randy and I, and we're always always seeking to improve our marketing and customer communication and just, you know, interact. Oh, like super distracted uh just interacting with the internet in general and so if this is something that you think might work well for your company or your business try it try it out do your own uh like try doing some shop update videos i understand not everyone likes being on camera or likes talking or anything like that so you know with all things that's another of that purple from our friend droma it was so generous of her to send that to us Super pretty. Super durable, too. I almost dropped it. Ah, look at that one. Oh, so pretty. What were we talking about? I forget. I don't know. I'm looking at shinies. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, in all things, shift the, um, you know, shift what I'm doing to suit your needs and things that way. Oh my gosh, that's so sparkly. You know, that way it's best suited for you because what works well for me might not be ideal for you and what hasn't worked for me may be the best thing for you to try. So just because Randy and I do something a certain way does not mean it's the only way or the best way or even mildly efficient. Um, I know I throw in a batch of chaos every once in a while. It throws everything for a loop. And then we also have had requests for more small cabochons so this is our our wee bitty boy which who's still i mean over a half inch in diameter like that's almost three quarters of an inch i don't know if you can see but yeah and we will have pictures on the website of all of our cabs not just in my hand uh catching the light in an optimal way but whoops super terrible um <laughs> Uh, not just catching the light in an optimal way, but also on a grid so that you can see the size scale. Now, this is a one inch grid, but if you if you work in M&Ms or uh, millimeters and uh, Joma, if you're watching this, this is just the straight pure purple that you had sent. That's how it came out, which I think is gorgeous and not really getting caught that well on camera. Unfortunately, purples can be elusive to my camera. I'm just going to say. But, uh, ooh, the, that dichro just pops, y'all. And this is dichro on a black aventurine back, which I think just is so pretty. 
There's the light going through that one. And there's the light hitting that one. These are probably my favorite. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think that's my favorite blue here lately. So, yeah, be sure to leave a comment, you guys, if you're interested in participating in our giveaway. And be sure to stop by our website and sign up for our newsletter. This is another one of those iridescents. Um, because we do a featured artisan segment every week. We have exclusive coupons in our newsletters. Um, we update you about when we have new tutorials. Um, so there's the light going through that one. And it's free to sign up for. And you still get those like coupons and stuff. So, And not just to our shop, but to our partner shops as well. Ooh, look at that green. And our last one, which Randy said is his favorite of the batch update. This one here, that's the light going through it, and that's the light hitting it. Which again, this one looks a lot prettier in person than what the camera's catching. But I actually think it looks super cool with the light cutting through it. So that is our shop update, you guys. Um, if you make anything with our cabs and you would like to be featured, please send us an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with pictures of your work, either if you've been following along with our tutorials or if you use our cabs, we would love to feature you because uh, we have, uh, at the moment, uh, slightly over 800 people signed up for our newsletter. So it's a really great marketing opportunity um, for y'all. Also, you can post them to our Back to Earth Creations Facebook page and tag us Craft Along Club or Craft Along with Vaughn, like hashtag uh, Craft Along with Vaughn or Craft Along Club on Instagram. In that way, anybody who searches that hashtag or anybody who comes by our Facebook page will see your work as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see y'all at the time of recording in tomorrow's live stream. So... Bye, y'all. Happy crafting. <laughs>